Did you know you were saved to serve? <laughs> This week we looked at a message uh, on serving and it was uh, titled The Christ We Must Serve. And we looked at a bunch of great truths. One of them was we're saved to serve. And that, that's such an amazing truth. God saved us so that we can do something. If not, he would He would have just taken us home, right? And that, that was the thing that kind of uh, Brother Mike talked about. And also we saw this, um, this quote from Brother Mike where he said, po it's possible to cheer in the pep rally and then do nothing in the game. And it's this idea of like getting involved and, and it's, 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 it's possible to show up on Sunday morning and raise your hand and lift and worship and then get out in the week where God is actually, where God is calling us to, to work and to serve and, and to do nothing. And so what are we joining in? What's the game? If we can, we can cheer at the pep rally, but, but not be in the game or not do anything in the game, what is the game? What's Christ's mission? And, and we looked at preaching, teaching, and healing. Those are the three things that Jesus Christ's mission um, was. And today I just want to focus real quick on healing. And, and yes, God heals in these uh, miraculous ways, and I believe he still does that from time to time. But most of the healing that we see uh, comes from the church, the people, God's people, their abilities and their talents, stepping into people's situation or their money or things they have and sharing those, uh, stepping into situations and sharing those things with people in those uh, in, in, who are hurting, who need healing in these different areas, whatever that may look like. And so I just wanted to really talk about two things that uh, our church is, one of them our church is involved with, the other one is directly here. The first one is this, it's CARM. So, Carm here, our local store um, in Clinton, you can take things that maybe you don't need any longer that are still in really good shape or clothes or whatever. You can take them up there, donate them, and tell them that you're donating them to Second uh, in, in the name of Second Baptist Church. And they actually give us gift cards back. And we give those gift cards out to people who come to our, uh, come to our church on Monday through Saturday and need help and need, uh, may need some clothes or need some shoes or, or just need some things to put in their home or whatever. We hand those gift cards out. And that's a very good way where you can step in. You can give um, the things that you have and you can step in and be healing for somebody. Uh, the second thing I want you to see is our benevolence. <laughs> I hope I spelled that right. But if I didn't, that's okay. Um, our benevolence, we did a, um, a food drive this week, but this is something that's ongoing. It's every, every other Wednesday, they're here. So you can come and give up your time there, or you can continue. Just think about it. Maybe once a month, bring food to continue to store up in our benevolence. And, um, and that's a way that we can step in and, and bring healing to people's lives who are hurting. I heard a, a pastor say earlier this week in a podcast I was listening to, he said, God, uh, many times we pray, we pray for chairs and tables to, to help serve somebody, a chair, a table that somebody needs, some, uh, this thing, this tangible thing that somebody needs. And he said, listen, what I know is God's not in the chair and table making business. He's in the tree making business. He's given us trees and it's our duty to make, to fashion chairs and tables to give to people. So maybe the healing that God is wanting to bring into someone's life is you. What do you have to bring into someone's life? We were saved to serve. Hey, if you want to check out our last Whiteboard Wednesday, click here. If you want to try to connect with us on social media, and we want to uh, invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.